got a plan for the ages. About to make them all famous. My bitch solid moving cases, yeah. This shit is mine for the taking. The city crying, I see it's faking. Nigga got a move with patience, yeah. Pull up on me, I got motion. Got a move with a motive. I don't see you niggas focus now, yeah. Backwoods when we smoking. 3.5 is the dosage. Shorty fixed it when I broke it, yeah. Man, these niggas ain't silent. These fuck niggas wildin'. Niggas should've been suckin' up knowledge. Get up out the street and go fuck it up in college. These niggas worry about shining. Like it don't start first with grind. Tryna pop out like I got that work behind me. This shit watered down. Everybody got similar sounds. Y'all see what the fuck going on, man. Sitting here with my player partner, Money Mike, man. Louisiana, stand the fuck up, man. Southwest 337. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, I just I just really wanted to give you your flowers, my nigga. Appreciate And it. just let you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I admire when I see other young bosses doing their motherfucking thing, bro. Appreciate you know what I'm saying, bro? Man, I just want to know, bro, how, how did Screw influence what you doing today? Man, uh, I'll never forget, it was probably like 92, yeah. 93, and uh, the guys used to come back from Houston, I live in Lake Charles, which is two hours away from here, so the guys would come back to the city, Nick Shokes and Boom and all them, Black Hawk and all them, they would come back, I stayed behind them, so I was a yeah. young kid doing the football, they would come back and they would be playing this music, mm. and I could hear some of our favorite songs. Yeah. You know, I'll never forget the first song I ever heard was Funkify and uh Brett. and Buddha Nature. Come on, man. Three yeah. two, shout out to the governor, oh, man. Uh, man, what was the name of that screw? Uh ooh, ooh. I can't it's gonna come to me. Come but on. It was one of my favorite screws. Uh it started with an A. Uh, uh, all night in the lab. No, 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 no I'm no, thinking no. about some rick shop shit, no, no, y'all. No. If anybody know they screws, they had Funkified on it, Buddha Nature, and I never yeah, yeah. One of my partners come through jamming a four pack for the first time. That's the first time we ever seen Six four, by nine. Six by nine. Yeah, yeah. Back then, shit. He had a, he had a uh, regal. You hear so every he word. Just, and, man, he come down the windows half drop. Yeah. You can hear, ha, ah, ah. ha. It ain't nothing but that Buddha nature. And, the, and, the, and the, the, the way the six bananas he had was somehow beating his trunk. Come on, All man. you heard was dun, 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 Come on, man. Come on, man. And he coming through banging his soul, yeah. and I'm just like, ooh, that shit sounds What the fuck is good. that? That's God. Slap. You, at this time, you don't even know what the fuck this he was playing. Man, all of a sudden. He jumped down. I said, man, what is that? Why it sound like that? He said, man, this is Scoop. I'm like, Scoop? He said, yeah, man, we get them screws from school. This is the Scoop taking it. You was like Charles at this time. Yeah, so. Come on, man. You know, I ain't never been like 14 at the time. Uh, I'm yeah. a freshman in high school. Man, come on, man. And from there, it just it just took over like a rocket. All the dope boys was coming through the hoods. Yeah. We had a thing where all the dope boys, after they hit all their licks all day, They'll ride through the, every hood in the city in the evening and the time when the sun set, catch the candy, catch all yeah, the, yeah. They come through bang in the hoops of bang with the tent. Yeah. The big sales come through come bang on, with no rails, just vogues. So and, the inspiration was down. Vogues and hubcaps. You hear them come yeah. Slap. Knocking, though. So it was just something about the screw and then the freestyles after that. It was yeah. just like... We all in high school, we catch lunch breaks. I'll be no tables and goddamn We home. would hear y'all freestyling on yeah. screw tapes, and we would freestyle over y'all just to just, you know, get the <laughs> yeah, ball yeah. going at lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Come on, man. Man, that's how it all started for us. That's real and shit, And we was man. addicted from there. Hey, man, that nigga screwed the world up, man. Well, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, how important is it for you to remain a boss doing this shit, not conform to the idea of signing to a label, man. Oh. So this the era of the boss. I've studied the game from the first time I started liking rap. I started liking rap 
probably when I first, I, I never forget the first song I heard was that little Cool J on Bad. Come on, man. With buddy. the boom box. And when I saw yeah. that boom box, the way those speakers move, I just got an infatuation with music. Yeah, real so, shit. So from there, it just elevated crisscross. We was jumping around with our jerseys backwards. And, you know, yeah, I'm a shit. sports yeah, fanatic. Yeah, yeah. So to see them jumping around with baseball jerseys, the Sox jersey turned backwards, I was like, oh, yeah. Come on, man. I wasn't too big on the pants back, but the baseball jersey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The hip hop, the hip hop yeah, part of yeah. the shit. We was coming off the hammer, the hammer theme at that time. And that like, wasn't, that wasn't. <laughs> up. You feel me? Shout out to hammer. We ain't hating. You feel me? We were wearing the baggy pants, and they just yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but we we're, we're another generation though. Yeah, we got that. We were gonna Levi's and uh, polos, and you feel me? Yeah, we we got to that. We 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 elevated as it came. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn right. Hey man. Where did you see this dirty third culture? Cause I know you a big you a big part of this shit now, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You've been dropping some uh some some bangers out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Melo Montana. You and Melo Montana, y'all came from that boot and really planted y'all feet in this dirty third culture. It was bro. like me and Melo not from the same hood, but we, we knew of each other and we always yeah. we was hustlers, real hustlers in the streets. So, you know, in the streets you know who a real hustler is. Oh, real recognized. Y'all may not do business or y'all may not be from the same hood. Cause yeah. I, where I'm from, it was kind of like a gospel, Fisherville, Rice Mill, and on yeah. down to Jay Hall, and Terrence in the Village from north to the south type thing. Same thing in Houston. Real shit. We kind of cultivated Lake Charles at that time like Houston was cultivated. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. So, like. Brought that player put, shit down there, getting much, some money. We pretty much, whatever y'all did, we did. No, that's real So, shit. I. Teachers like for dudes like me that was on the streets that that really barely had an OG here and there shows or whatever from the teachers the streets we learned from the music. Hey man, to y'all. hey man, like Charles was a baby H time. My that's nigga Tom Prophet, I don't know if you know Tom. Yeah, Tom, M O E. That's my nigga. That's you know you Money know over everything. Man, you know <laughs> I you know I uh I know. Yeah, I, I came up with that locked up. I know up. you on the first album. I know. Nah, I came up with the name while I was locked up. Yeah. Money over everything. Yeah. And then when I came home, see me and Todd, that was my brother. Yeah, when I came home, what I did, I was already signed to Rick Shop, but I wanted to help my nigga get out the streets. Mm -hmm. So I already got a deal. I just, I told Rick, man, I'm finna do this album with my nigga. We started the label, did all that. He yeah. went got all of the, the the dudes that wound up taking my nigga life. Yeah, R.P. Todd. Yeah, man, it was some niggas that was on was on the album with us. But I kind of told him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta, you can't bring everybody home. You know what I'm saying? You know everybody don't go. You feel me? You know, shout out to my dog, man. You know that them the lessons that I I, I seen. You know, growing up in this, in, the, in you know what I'm saying, in this jungle, you feel me, seeing my niggas, you know, that's I why was, I say Slippers Count, you feel me? I was a real student watching it. Yeah, nah, real shit, bro. I was a real student in the streets watching. That's why we where we at right now doing what yeah. we doing, man, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm just here trying to give your flowers, because yeah, I've been sitting you. back, you know what I'm saying, peeping all the real hustlers who putting mm -hmm. on... For this culture, man, and I'm just gonna give you your flowers, bro. We just last over dying for Yeah, real, yeah, we dinosaurs for real, bro. Yeah. And and and, and I, when I see uh, the generation that's up under me coming up, you feel me? I wanna tell you, man, keep doing what you're doing, that's cause right. it's a bunch of these young niggas lost, yeah, and nigga, you, know. you you doing it like real man business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So hey, bro, yeah. keep doing what you're I doing. I could have like took off with the music a long time ago. I never forget the first time I I met you. Yeah. We at Festival City. Come on, man. Show. Come on, man. I run up to yeah. Gotti. You know, I was a big fan of Gotti and Mo and I everything we... Rick Shop had yeah. going on. So we at Festival City. You know, if anybody know about Lake Charles Festival City, that's that was the, the jungle. That was the that shit. That club bro. don't open until 2 o'clock at night. Like a strip club, but it's a just gutter. It's where all the gangsters go. And you going to walk out there with the sun fans. coming up. And you going <laughs> to walk out with the sun coming up. And you're going to pull in the parking lot, and it's going to be a gangster affair from 2 to 7, 6 in the morning. I'm talking about when you pull in the thing, they boys pulling in, beating behind 10 in the hoodoos and the slabs. And you're going to smell wet in the air. You're going to smell <laughs> chronic in the air. You know what I'm saying? You're going to yeah. see baby bottles all across the parking lot. Yeah, it's going it's down. It's, it's a lot dark as a motherfucker. You had to have you had to have some nuts to pull in them gates. Yeah, and be who you were. You had to be him for real. Right up, or man. you getting jumped. 
Are you one thing up? they would I seen a lot of people get poked up, shot up, and stand. Then a lot of people died. That's why they they closed it. The like, clothes that fell yeah, to shit out. That was man. too gangster. That was like a, peniten- a, a, a club penitentiary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the free world, you feel In me? The free world. Hey man, yeah. but you know, it's just a blessing, man, to sit here with my partner, man, and give your flowers, bro. Where they can reach you at, man? man on the Instagram, here, man. I'm out here in Houston on The Real OG Money Mike. At T H E R E A L O G Money Mike. And it's going down, man. Yeah. Y'all have been entertained on God and Files, man. I'm finna show y'all why they call him Money Mike, because he finna go. He letting the crash this drop, Mike. You feel me? And shout out to Unc, man. The real freeway Ricky Ross, man. Yo, you see I got nep- I got nephew up in here. You gotta come on you gotta come on home, Unc. Oh, I ain't gonna play with him. Straight hey, up. See, I still remember the first verse you walked in my house on Center Street after we left Festival City that night. You came straight to the house, no bullshit, no stuff. Man, give me the mic. We in Went the crazy, booth. you feel me? That boy straight said, up. We in the boot on some bubbly. I'll never forget that. Yeah. Man, they got people still to this day. When I moved to Lafayette, people heard me and you on the song again. They're like, man, where that song is? I was like, bro. the computer crashed, so I lost it. But Come on, man. That's why we're here history. right now. It's real history. Nah, that's real history. That's 2000, real history. 2001. It's real history. 2000, 2001. And we just here to complete what we started, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't got it, Files, man. We finna tap in on this drop mic, and I'm finna let bro do his thing, man. It's going down, man. And, uh, Say, man, I'm gonna give you your flowers. Come on, brother. Because there's brothers like you that I really mark, I set a mark behind to follow. Yo. D Rick, Mike D, Yo. Kiki. Like, I took different pieces of the screwed up clique and was like, I'm gonna make a transformer. My oh, man. And Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I have a little bit of this one, that one, this one, that one. So when you do see me, you gonna notice a little bit of damn. I see a little bit. Of Rick this. got it. You gonna see Pat, a little bit of this Mo, one now. You feel me? Yeah, salute to Rick, man. Hey, man. Hey, Rick. But other oh, than brother. Master P, yeah, you was my role model, like really, like yeah. business. My brother, go, man. My brother, man. You deserve your flowers. Hey man, that's what we doing with this dirty third culture, this podcast, and it's going down, man. Stay up, man. It's twenty twenty. Go. Not 2024, it's 2020 go, because that's what we we on go, man. From here on out, man. When you see us, man, stay tapped in, man. It's up, man. It's it's Money Mike. Man, this the Young man, OG. This, this the reason why you would see me cutting the corners in the hood at 5 o'clock with the sun <laughs> at a certain angle coming over the lake with them 19 and a half inch Bobbers monoblocks flicking on that screw blue to STS. Nah, oh, man. These blazes chopping and these babies Blazes bopping. You know, it's, it's people like you know. Trunk is knocking. Yeah. Fitted by food. Those that know, y'all see me hit the hoods <laughs> yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah. Chopping on blades because of him and screw. Straight up, and man. Hey. It's Real going shit. down, man. We don't got it, Files, man. It's love. It's an open door policy, bro. Man, say, man, whenever you got something to promote, it's going down. H to the H. H up. We locked in, man. From the boop to the H, man. It's up, baby. Yeah. I got to tell my story. Hey, look here, man. My people don't make it out the hospital when I see you. What's up? Mm-hmm. See, you understand where you been. And why you been there? You start to understand the meaning and the purpose for all the mayhem. And I would never glorify this game, understanding the pain and the destruction it's caused so many young brothers like myself. Tell my story. I gotta play for the ages. About to make them all famous. My bitch solid moving cases. Yeah. This shit is mine for the taking. The city crying, I see it's faking. Nigga gotta move with patience. Yeah. Pull up on me, I got motion. Gotta move with a motive. I don't see you niggas focus. Nah. Yeah. Backwoods when we smoking. 3.5 is the dosage. Shorty fixed it with
Straight up, man. Let's get to it. Hey, man, it's 2020 go. <laughs> I mean, 2024. I'm sitting there with a young legend, man. In the motherfucking making, man. You know what I'm saying? South Park in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? 6200 Louis, man. Say, man, this, this boy here awesome, y'all. You feel me? He cooking. He got some shit on the way. You feel me? He had to come talk to me, man, and sit down with me, man. And, and you know, pop his shit. Yes, sir. You feel me? Hey, man, uh, what, what you think the meaning of life is, bro? And, and how did that shit influence the way uh, you write this music? You know what I'm saying? You want me to say the question again? Nah, shit, man. The meaning of life, shit. A nigga out of here, you know what I'm saying? OG shit, a nigga seen this shit. A nigga watch y'all growing up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? A nigga got the game from y'all, so nah, a nigga I got older, a nigga already knew, like, what ropes to take and how this shit was going. But a nigga was still getting active till niggas start having these kids. And, Nigga mm -hmm. had to settle down and walk up back and like, man, nigga got a family. Nah, that's Keep real shit. Keep on doing this dumb ass shit. <laughs> you want to jail doing nothing? That shit, nigga, I get to you. Hey, man, that's real shit, man. Uh, hey, man, uh, uh, as, as far as being an artist, man, where you see yourself taking this shit to, bro? You know what I'm saying? Because you really one of the rawest, underrated artists, bro. I, I just been, I been watching you for a few years. I, you know, we did records, you know, like the bar, baby. We did a few records. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, you, where you trying to take this shit to? You feel me? Man, this shit, you got really like, this shit so far. I was in this shit like, it's uphill. Like, man, we shit can go far as we want it to go. Okay. We just gotta get the right people behind us. Mm -hmm. Gotta, Keep on meeting people, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and, and, and therefore, they gotta spend some money too. That's what niggas get it wrong yet. Niggas don't wanna spend no money. And, Cause they don't really, I be, I be feeling like a nigga don't believe in himself when he ain't trying to spend no money. Yeah. You feel me? And, and as a real nigga, we can't wait on other men to support our dreams. Yeah, That's nigga. what I tell the young artists, man. Even if nigga, you gotta go get you a job, bro, or, or whatever, you feel me? Because you can't really straddle the fence. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really what hurt me coming up in this shit. I, I, I spent too much money on lawyers and, and bonds. And you feel me? Nigga had something, but I, I, I was straddling the fence. I was trying to fuck them streets and trying to fuck this shit. And I kept getting knocked out the box. You feel yeah. me? So even if you got to goddamn go and, and, and bust you a move, but, but the right shit, it, it's going to pay for this over here. You know what for I'm sure, saying? For sure. Just to show. The, the, the high power or the universe that you believe in what you're standing on. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get blessed, bro, every time. You know what I'm saying? That's what I see. When I invest in my shit and what I'm trying to do, man, that shit always make me some money back. Yeah, that's you how I'm supposed to go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, what you working on right now, bro? Man, I ain't going to lie. I got some new shit I'm cooking up. Yeah. Working on this new tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that yeah. record you y'all did with Young Al. You uh, shout out to Rookie No Beard, man. Young yeah. Al. That's a bad motherfucker, man. Yeah. What y'all was what, what what kind of dope y'all was on when y'all did that bad motherfucker? Cause it, <laughs> man, <laughs> I don't see, man. You know, niggas on little bit of this, little bit of that. <laughs> nah, man, I'm fucking with it. <laughs> nah, that's a bad motherfucker, man. Y'all was yeah, thinking man. out the box, man. man we went out the box with this, yeah. so that shit was crazy, you know. Yeah. That nigga though, that's your young girl, you know. Yeah, we from the same hood. We got we from the stone, so yeah, real shit. You no. Know, Oh, young Al from the Stone? Yo, bro, from the Stone. Yeah. Yellow Stone? Yellow Stone, man. Ain't, ain't no young Al from that motherfucking Yellow Stone, man. Goddamn, man. Young Al from our end. From our end, man. God. Yeah, from our end, be riding for him like this. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah, that's dog. Man, side. that's real shit, man. Shout out to young Al. That's you know, my kinfolk and them really, uh, really brought him to, the, you know, like, like, really, like, held him and, and took uh, him in. Fold and, and, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? BJ, you know, them yeah, my, my people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, here, yeah, yeah, man. So they, they kind of got them started off, man, you know what I'm saying? So I shout out to Young Al, man. Y'all working, man. Just keep that shit up, bro. But these people need more content from you, bro. Yeah, I already know, man. You yes. feel me? Not just videos, content, nigga. Start back rapping in front of that camera like you used to do. Yeah, that's, that's, you feel that's, me? that's exactly what a nigga got to get back to, man. Yeah, you know, bro. Yes, a nigga just, you know how that life shit take a nigga when a nigga out here on them streets? Responsibility, yeah, yeah. Responsibility. Yeah. Then I got them kids. All this shit just hitting a nigga back and forth. And a nigga just steady trying to keep that nigga how to manage that money. 
That's yeah, the yeah. first thing. That's the hardest That's thing. That's the hardest thing. Manage that nigga. bread. Manage that bread, dog. But once you learn and figure it out, I, I'm telling you, my wife helped me figure it out. She she started telling me, uh, and when I figured this concept out, I started winning. You feel me? I'm going to just give yeah. it to you, bro. The white people live off credit. You feel me? Niggas live off okay. cash. Yeah. You know, but but when you living off credit, though, uh, you just paying yourself back. The money coming back to you. So if I got seven credit cards and I pay my bills with them, once I pay them credit cards off, that money coming back to me. And my credit going out the roof. Goddamn right. So everything I go in there and swipe it. I mean, you know, if I go get a card, the percentage rate lower, everything. Yeah. But once a nigga figure that out, that concept of that shit, oh man, we winning. You feel me? So yeah, that's man, the name man. of the game. Yeah. That's the name of the game. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I, I be real. trying to tell niggas like, man, I was just a cash. And niggas be mm. when I be spending this shit, I be like, man, that cash shit really ain't nothing no more. Nah, you know what that's what it. it look good on camera. Yeah, life cheap, life, life, life really cheap, but yeah. everything hot. Them white folks, you they, they doing it the right way. Yeah. We out here just chasing the green dollar, the blue dollar, the pink. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These folks out here fucking with them cars. <laughs> yeah, raw one of these folks got number card. That's all, and they gonna go <laughs> home. They gonna go home and cut that bitch off. Yeah, immediately. Before immediately. they get home. Before they get home. Hey man, cut the motherfucker off on the nigga, man. Look, Before man. the nigga do anything, you, you, you don't regret. Fuck, man. You feel me? Nigga snatch the people bag or something, man. They gonna get number cards, <laughs> man. Nigga yeah, just shit, man. Hey man, before we before we get on this drop mic though, where they can reach you at, bro? And uh, and, and you know what hey, I'm man. saying? I'm six two hundred Lewis, man. Underscore L U I E Young Lewis, man. Y'all can find me, man. I'm on the ground. I gotta start getting on that bit more, OG. You know what I'm oh, saying? Definitely. Giving them people oh, that definitely. shit, man. I just, it be so much, man. You know, just life. But a nigga finna give it to them because they gotta hear this shit, OG. Hey, man. Consistency gonna it. pay you, brother. They gotta hear it. It's gonna it. pay you, brother. Just yes. just balance it out. You know, I know it be hard sometimes, but we gotta yeah, balance man. that shit out, bro. And Because cause your dreams, you, you don't wanna wake up man, and with, with regrets, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, man, do what you do, man. You still a young nigga. You got big action. You feel yeah. me? Straight up, my nigga. So, shit, it's open door policy, bro. Whatever you want to slide through, get your promo on, nigga. Hey, hey, OG, I'm on the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that simple. You feel me? That's how it go. Hey, man, y'all been blessed right here on God and Five, man. It's a Dirty Third Podcast, man. This 6200 Lewis, 20, man. Y'all gonna follow my dog. And tap in, because we finna get on this drop mic, man. You finna bless y'all game right quick. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm a product of the pole, wasn't born with no plug shit, but I was trying to scope. Get up in the blender, man, that's all a nigga know. Before I go and be a winner, shit, that's all a nigga know.